Hello and welcome to the Shack of M1GEO. This short video is about how to move your ARRL Logbook of the World program, the TQSL or Trusted QSL program, and all the settings from one machine to another. So a good example of this is if you have everything set up on your desktop at home and then you use a laptop out portable and you wanted to be able to upload logs from your portable laptop, then you can move all of the settings, certificates, station information from one machine to the other. So this video kind of very very briefly guides you through that. Uh, that process. So if we start by opening my TQSL program on the source machine, so this is the machine I've got at home. You can see here, for example, under the call sign certificates, all the certificates that I've got installed on this machine. There's quite a few because we operate portable in different locations. And you can see some of the associated station locations that go with those uh, certificates. And you can see that everything is ready to go. So what we need to do is export all of this information, and we do that by clicking on the file. Uh, menu item and then back up station locations, certificates and preferences. So we click on that, it opens a, a enter file to save dialog and gives us the default file name of TQSL config. This file encapsulates all of the call sign certificates, settings and previous uh, logged QSOs uh, all into one file. And you can leave it exactly as it is and just save that. The only thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to add a date. So I'm adding underscore 2018 10 26, which is today's date, 26th of October. I'm going to press a save here. You'll see after a few moments that it says save operation complete. And you can see on the desktop machine, we've now got a new file here. Once it says save operation complete, we can go ahead and close this window. You'll see here this file has just been created, trusted TQSL config, uh, underscore 2018.10.26.tbk. Uh, the file size is just under one megabyte. Uh, most of the file size is used up by your previous QSOs, which are all kept in here for, for duplicate checking and stuff that saves the uh, ARRL server from doing lots of unnecessary work for QSOs that have already been uploaded. So a lot of it's done at your end. None of that matters for you. Uh, all you need to do is get this file copied to a USB pen. So I'm using right click on the file, send to, and then select your USB pen drive. Here I'm using uh, M1 GEO USB, which is the name of my uh, USB thumb drive. So I click on that and it's copied the file over. That's all we need to do on this machine. We need to go ahead to the, uh, to the other computer now and uh, I'll meet you there. Okay, welcome back to the new machine. I've managed to get this uh, trusted uh, QSL file, TQSL config file uh, that we generated on the previous machine. I'm going to get that over to this machine here, uh, onto the new machine, uh, copy it over using a USB. Of course you can email it to yourself or however you prefer, use a computer network or something, to get the file from, from one to another. The next step to do is to uh, open the ARR website. As you can see here, I've uh, gone ahead and downloaded the uh, latest and greatest uh, uh, file. You go to arrl.org forward slash tqsl hyphen download. You can just Google for arrl tqsl download, you'll find it. Um, assuming you're running uh, Windows, uh, you can go ahead and click the Windows tab here. Uh, it folds down and click Go Now. That will let you download it. It's not a big file, just under 10 megabytes, so it shouldn't take very long. Uh, these instructions should equally follow on uh, OS X and certainly Linux as well. I've, uh, first-hand use of that. So once you've downloaded it, you'll end up with this file here, which is the installer for it. And we're going to go ahead and run that now. Ooh. There we go. So this is what the installer looks like. It's basically a case of accepting their terms and conditions. You should skim through those. Uh, leave everything uh, default. It'll take a few moments to uh, to install this and once it does I uh, no longer have the pleasure of uh, being able to edit this so this is asking me if I want to go ahead and install it it's signed by the ARRL so you can be fairly sure it's all okay let's go ahead and run that we don't need to read the quick start we know what we're doing <laughs> and uh, click finish. Okay, jobs are good. We're done with the installer file. You can delete that now. And you'll see we've now got the TQSL icon that we had before. 
So here's where it gets interesting, and there are some important things to note about here. When we run this for the first time, you get this introduction page, and you get some instructions about it. So it tells you to read this documentation, and we're going to click OK. This window is very important. This alert that comes up it says you have no course sign certificates installed on your computer. Would you like to request one now? The biggest mistake people make is by clicking yes. We already have all of that information in our backup file, which you can see in the top top left over here. So we don't need to do this, and it's important that you don't do this. If you request a new course sign certificate, it will invalidate all of the old ones. And although it might work on this machine, it will no longer work on the previous one where we started. So it is important that you click no at this. It will complain to you at a later point saying you still don't have any certificates. But don't worry about that, that's what we're working on. So we can close the introductory text. Text. You should feel free to read it if you wish. And then we've ended up with the TQSL program here. It looks like we had before. Just to show I'm not cheating, there's nothing in any of these options here. Everything's empty. And how we proceed is to click File, Restore Station Location, Certificates and Preferences. And we need to aim it at this file we had here. So this is the file we created in, on the other machine uh, some moments ago. So make sure you can see everything. No magic going on here. It's just TQSL config with the same date, 2018.10.26.tvk. If we import that, you'll see instead of saving records, etc., it says restoring course and certificates. Everything's finished successfully. It says restore complete. What you should be able to see is now all of these have been pre populated and the certificates are all there and they're all valid. So my main certificate here. You can see information for it. Everything is as, as you expect from before. So that's about all there is to show you on this. Um, you can now use that one, uh, use this one as well. It won't have broken the other one. And because we didn't request any new certificates, we've used the old ones again. We've duplicated them. And, uh, and we, since we've exported it properly, everything is matched correctly. There's no problems at all. It should just work. Hopefully that was useful, and uh, perhaps I'll catch you on the air sometime. 73 M1 GEO.